What's going on everybody? Come back to you with another military MRE meal ready to eat review. This one's a menu 21 chicken breast filet garlic herb seasoning. Menu 21 real ready to eat sapaco. Yeah. <clears throat> Typical MRE. And this one has a date code of 2013, 330th day. So it's the oldest one I've had out of the case yet. And uh, looks like it started in 1999 on the MRE menu as just chicken breast, or grilled chicken breast, excuse me. Then it goes up all the way to 2005 and they change it to just chicken breast. And what else they have here? It goes all the way up, yeah, until 2009. 2009 is when the last time I saw the chicken breast on the menu, it's menu number five. And then if you go further in, According to the MRE info page, it doesn't exist. So if you have any idea about this or any, any knowledge of why in 2013 we have a MRE that's not on the menu on our, on our forum, let me know. All right, looks like we have a uh, peelable seal. So we'll peel that seal open. Sometimes they peel easy, sometimes they don't. Sometimes they fight and sometimes they run away. So let's see what we get today. Yeah, this one's fighting. Oh, there we go. And looks like we got a bunch of stuff in there. Let's see what we got. Let's see here. Garlic herb seasoned chicken breast filet. Uh, four grams. Inspected by the U.S. Department of Agriculture. So this is real chicken. I'm excited about that. Boneless, skinless chicken with rib meat colored with paprika caramel added. There's the nutritional info. Packaged by Sopaco. And looks like the lot code on this one is 2013, 315th day. Yeah. <clears throat> so let's check that out in a little bit. We got some tortillas. Normally you say tortillas plain, but this one just says tortillas. Here's the nutritional info on that. Sterling Foods. And that one has a date code of 2013, 282nd day. Put that over there for right now. Alright, let's see. Baked snack crackers. Hot and spicy cheddar flavor. Never had these, that'll be exciting. Ameriqual packaging on this one. 2013, 315th day. What else we got here? Dry roasted peanuts. Maybe they have some salt on these because man, I had those almonds or peanuts or whatever in a few videos back and that was just bland as can be. Ingredients, peanuts and salt. We'll see about that. Sopaco packaging, 2013, 318th day. Whoa, type two strawberry banana dairy shake. Here's the nutritional info on that. I'm I'm curious about this. This is contains milk and soy. I'm interested about this. I'm I'm, I'm excited. Yeah, I've never had this, so this will be shaken up in here and put in a glass just to see how that works out. We have our trusty MRE spoon. Accessory packet. And one last item here. Vanilla pound cake from Sterling Foods. Here's the nutritional info on that there. And uh, Sterling Foods out of San Antonio, Texas. With a date code of 2013, 275th day. Now, if you look closely here, here's everything we got. Where's our FRH? And I saw a forum post that said uh, people were uh, not having FRHs with this menu item number 21. So, very interesting you don't have that. So this will be boiled in the oven or in the on the stove range because I don't feel like eating cold chicken. That's just not going to happen. So, 
I'll put that in and we'll come back to this. All right, let's start looking at what we got. Big snack crackers. 2013, 316th day, merit Paul packaging. Let's take a look. Take a look at what we got in here. Oh, they're Cheez-Its, man. They're Cheez-Its. Hot and spicy cheddar flavor. Oh, they, you know what? They have this. They smell like combos. Those spicy jalapeno combos or whatever. That's what this smells like. But, let's see. Mmm. Those are pretty good. For being a little old. You know what I mean? Pretty good. Mmm. Kick is not as spicy as I thought it was going to be. But, it's alright. It's alright. I give these two and a half, three stars. Yeah. Yeah, not, 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 nothing more than that. But, there, it's a mild. It's mild. It's not hot and spicy. It's mild. A little bit of a, a little bit of tinge in the back of the throat right now. But other than that, it'll be alright. Vanilla Pound Cake, Sterling Foods. 2013, 275th day. Mmm. That smells straight up vanilla. Wait, what is that? Ah, uh, you don't want to eat that. Oh, there's another one. Definitely don't want to eat that. You can smell the vanilla. From 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 holding it at waist level, can smell it. Mm. That's really good. You know that would be really good with like some ice cream. Hmm, that's good. I'm gonna set that right over here. Let's see what else we got. Dry roasted peanuts. Hmm, I don't know if I, um, you know what, peanuts and roasted almonds and all that stuff, not ever been, uh, not ever been a favorite of mine, it's just, just kind of mediocre. Yeah, these look pretty, pretty bland. No, no, they're, they're salted, yeah, yeah, these are good. I mean, three years old, there's no no sweetness, no numbing of the tongue, none of that typical stuff that a uh, rancid food item would do. Yeah, pretty good. Not, 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 not mad about that at all. We'll throw those with those. The vanilla pound cake, five piece, five star all day. These here, I give them a solid four. These are good. Let's see what else we got here. We got our tortillas. Sterling foods. Let's open those up. Oh, you again. Hmm. Yeah, these these smell great. They smell like real straight up tortillas. I guess we'll need that for our chicken breast. I don't know. It's got like a this is just like a weird blend of like stuff that they just thought, well, we'll just put this together and make an MRE meal because I don't get the tortillas with the chicken breast. That's this garlic and herb. And then you got like a, you know, tortilla thing going on. Got sweet. It's supposed to be spicy, but it's mild. You know, like, I just did, I think there was just a bunch of stuff they just threw together. Made them a quick MRE out of it before it went bad. Let's see what else we got here. Trusty MRE spoon. Got the accessory packet. So let's take a look at that real quick. Okay. Moist towelette. Thick. 
fat-free mayonnaise. All right. Yeah, I don't. I don't know how I feel about three-year-old mayonnaise. I'll open it and take a look. Diamond Crystal brand, Savannah, Georgia. Hmm. We'll take a look. I mean, it's got a date code of 2013, 288. We'll take a look. We'll take a look. Got some iodized salt. Beverage-based raspberry, sugar-free. We'll try that out. What is this? Season, seasoning blend, salt-free. We'll try that on the uh, on the food. We'll see how that goes. We have some authentic lighthouse paper. It's made out of real lighthouses in San Francisco, California, so you know it's real. And last but not least, chiclets. I think the red means cinnamon, and the white wrapper means, like, the clear wrapper means, like, regular. But I'm not a chiclet guy, so this, along with all the other stuff I don't use, will go into a unused bin that I keep around just in case I need something. While we're waiting on that meal to boil up, because they didn't come with a heater, we'll try the strawberry banana dairy shake powder. Natural and artificially flavored, fortified with calcium and vitamin D. Directions for use. Allow water to stand chemically proofing on Yeah, we're not going to do that. Uh, six ounces of water to the fill line, 60 seconds. Consume properly within one hour, single use only. Hmm. I, I bet it tastes great. I'm going to put it in a glass, though. That's definitely going to happen in a glass. So I can show you guys the contents. It's just that nice little form here to where it's like a bottle you can hold it you know and drink straight out of this on the go but we have a glass so why not use the glass let's see what we get here first thing when we open it what smells we get here mmm strawberry 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 that's all I smell just straight strawberry 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 let's see what you can see in there it's it's like a whitish yellowish powder. Let's put some water in there. Let's put some water in there real quick. Because I bet the strawberry banana tastes great. We'll find out. It says to the fill line, but who knows where that is. They should make these things clear. So you can see what you're doing. I'm just kind of shooting from the hip here. That looks about to where the fill line is. Make sure I have this closed before I make a strawberry banana mess everywhere. <sighs> okay, well, that was a workout. Let's see what we got. I'm pouring it in a glass. Alright, looks like we got some kind of, it smells like, you remember the strawberry yoo-hoos? That's what it smells like. Now, I live in the southeast, I haven't been able to find any strawberry yoo-hoo. Add some more water to that. Give it a stir for good measure. Very thick. Well, I gotta say that's the best beverage of any kind that I've gotten in any MRE. I'd trade everything for this. This is awesome. You can definitely taste the strawberry. The banana is nice and present in the foreground. Perfect blend. I'll tell you what, if they bottle this and put it on the shelves, it sell like hotcakes. Yeah, that's awesome. Five stars all day. That did not last long at all. And as quick as it showed up, it's gone. Yeah, that's 
that's awesome. That was some good stuff. That's probably my favorite. Yeah, definitely. My favorite drink of all time that I've had an NMRE. Let's try this beverage based raspberry drink. 2013, 248 day. It says add to 20 ounce bottled water. It's a whole bottle of water. But I'm going to put it in a glass so you guys can see what it is. Oh. Yeah, you can smell the raspberry right off the bat. Yeah, it's like a purpley powder with those little specks in it. it smells great. It has some water to it. It's out of it says a whole 20 ounce bottle of water, and I just happen to have a whole bottle of water here. So let's try it out. Let's see what we get. The whole bottle. Oh, interesting color change. Alright, well, maybe not a whole bottle of water because my glass isn't 20 ounces, but let's give it a stir. Okay, it has a raspberry color to it. Let's see, sugar-free. That's that's awesome too. I'm not as awesome as the banana strawberry stuff, but this tastes really good. I like it. That's gonna be. That's, I'm gonna have that there for the rest of the meal. And this MRE didn't come with any coffee or sugar or any of that, so we're gonna skip that part since we don't have it to do. But let's go get our main entree and see how that turned out. This thing is hot. Hot, 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 hot. So it's going to be nice and tasty. Our garlic herb seasoned chicken breast filet. Boneless, skinless chicken with rib meat colored. Yeah, with rib meat colored. That's that's weird. That's weird. Look, look how that says. Boneless, skinless chicken with rib meat colored with paprika caramel added. <sighs> Net weight 4 ounces, 113 grams, inspected by the U.S. Department of Agriculture for wholesomeness. There's the ingredients there. And here's the nutritional facts. So Paco, let's see what you got. <clears throat> well, I can already smell the garlic and herb. It's got a little water in there. Maybe it's for flavor. So I don't know well, how I'm gonna do this. I've got two tortilla shells and mayonnaise. And some kind of strange. I mean, it's a really soupy. I might run that off into a, another container or something. It's like an empty water bottle. Cause that, I don't know about that juice stuff. I don't, that juice. Chicken juice. Maybe it's flavorful. I don't know. Maybe it's some kind of chicken stock, but. Uh, yeah, it's some kind of chicken stock. I'm gonna pour that out first. Keep that over here. I mean, that's looks like some kind of chicken broth. But I'll t I'll try it. You know, I'll, I'll give it a shot. There's our chicken breast. Oh, two pieces. So there's the okay. Supposedly skinless. That's not skinless. Well, that's kind of weird. But it's real chicken meat. Yeah, supposedly skinless. Hmm. Let's see if we can get that focus. Hmm. Hmm. Tastes good. Tastes like real chicken. Now well, this has fat-free mayonnaise. It's like you're mixing mixing like Mexican with like chicken, like you know, it's like all these different you know types of cuisine stuff going on. And, uh, that's a little weird. I, I don't know. I don't know. I've never put mayonnaise on chicken on a tortilla. But I guess I'm gonna do that today. That's interesting. I mean, I'm not, I'm cautious. You need to understand why I'm leery. It's like mayonnaise that's been sitting in a pouch for three years. 
along with poultry. So there you have it. There's the chicken breasts, there's the mayonnaise, there's the tortilla. I guess what, we just roll it up like that and bite size this thing or something? I don't know. Let's see, just make a little pocket pouch, you know? A little pouch. Hmm. Well, the mayonnaise tastes good. It doesn't taste bad or anything. The chicken tastes good. The tortilla tastes good. It's an interesting mix. Um, definitely different. I think maybe that's what they were going for, is different. But, I feel that the chicken wasn't done justice with its pairings on you know, and in the MRE here. The tortilla shells would have been good with like some kind of chili thing or something. You know, throw, if you if you don't have anything to throw tortilla shells, then throw them in the chili mac at Mario. I'd love to have a tortilla shell or two of some chili mac. That'd be pretty awesome. You know, and throw something else with the chicken. Maybe some, some rice pilaf or something. Something simple. I mean, even, even freeze-dried rice to, to reconstitute because, I mean, this is neat. It's different, but could have been could have been stronger. And with an FRH, please, throw an FRH in there because... Not everybody has access to a stove top that they can boil water in, but overall, I'd have to give this mm, I guess a three, three and a half. The drinks were good. That strawberry, oh yeah, yeah, that raspberry stuff's good. I like it. I wish I had some jam that flavor. That's pretty good. But as far as like the drinks, the drinks were awesome. This was really good. The strawberry banana dairy shake thing, that was a five piece all day long. These cheese it's I'm just, I don't know. They're not awesome. I got Throw some cheese it's in there. Maybe that'll boost it up a little. Because, I mean, it's just a hodgepodge of stuff. Mm. I guess you could do that. You know? Let's try that. Beef stock. Let's try that. Or that chicken stock. Let's try that. Mm. Whoa, that's got tons of flavor. So, some rice pilaf with this chicken, and you just drizzle this this uh, beef stock or chicken stock that came out of the packet with the chicken on top of that rice. Dude, oh man, yeah, that flavor central all day. That stuff's. Let's see if I can get some on a spoon. Yeah, that stuff's really good. This stuff's awesome, man. Make some soup out of that. I mean, give us an extra packet of that stuff. I don't know. Just something. That stuff's really good, but... There you have it. That's the uh, Chicken Breast Filet MRE. Menu number 21. Garlic and Herb Seasoning. Genuine Department of Defense Military MRE. Not bad, folks. Overall, yeah, three, three and a half. But thanks for watching, everybody. If you liked the video, smash that like button. Give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, bam that thing down. Boom, 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 boom. Don't you know? Don't 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 like. If you don't like it, kill it. But thanks everybody for those all all the new subscribers. I know you guys were you know just jumping on. I appreciate it. You know, I I, I enjoy that. You know, I, I get to make these videos and you know if somebody else can enjoy what I do. And by all means, I'm going to keep doing it. So, with that said, thanks for watching.